don't mind the mess behind me, I'm in the middle of 6,000 different things. So um, I am getting ready to go to the post office to make 12 wonderful ladies very happy. Let me show you what I've been working on. All of these goodies, I will uh, block out those addresses when I film this, are on their way to the post office. So all of you winners from the 12 days of Vlogmas, I, I'm so sorry that this is late. I think next year I might just do gift cards or something, but um, I hope this will be a fun welcome surprise in your mailbox. I know I would love to get it. Um, after all the hype and everything, it's nice to get a little surprise in the mail. So these are going out to all of the winners from Vlogmas. And I actually picked up a few boxes that were way too big. Um, this size, I think I'll just save those for Poshmark. Um, I'm also going to stop at Goodwill. I've got so much stuff I have to get it out of here. My whole house, let me show you what, what the bad's going on. Okay, so <laughs> that all is Christmas right there. Robert has to, and there's a Christmas tree behind it. Robert has to get that out. Um, this is, I can't move this. This is all stuff. Those are TJ's toys and stuff. I don't have any room for any of this stuff. Cat snack stuff on the floor. It's just like a hoarding mess right now. So the agenda, Robert's gone. I asked him if he could get that stuff upstairs before he left the house for work. He didn't because he waits till the last second to get out of bed and then he's rushing. And I can't put it up in the attic myself because he's got a freezer in the middle of the thing up there. And this is like the second or third week. I'm getting really aggravated with him. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna carry all that stuff that I can upstairs or put it in a spot like blocking where he can't move past it till he does something with it. I think that will get the point across clear for him because I all those boxes like that stuff is light so I can get it upstairs. Um, I just I, I can't I can probably get those. Well, if he'd move the damn thing, the damn um, freezer he's got in the middle of the hallway, I could get the small boxes upstairs. Can you tell I'm aggravated? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, he's going to take care of that today because I can't, I can't move around in my house right now. It's so bad. So, and my, I really want to get the house cleaned up and nice so that I can um, just enjoy it. And I've got a lot of videoing to do this weekend. Um, I want to start getting in Kenzie's room. And again, I can't get in there because freezer's in the way. And, you know, I need to go in and out to move things, put things in, set things up. I think I'm going to take um, this, um, this thing this thing. What is that called? A wardrobe thing. Um, I think I'm going to put that up in her bedroom and that way when I'm doing clothing try-ons I can just put the clothes in there that I want and it's closer to my bedroom so when I'm done I can just go pop it in my own closet and I think I want to get like a longer um, really nice um, full-length mirror but like a nice one with like a wooden thing. Um, I may go do that today. I may take a look at Marshalls and Home Goods and see what they have. They usually have really nice ones but and they're like they range in price from like $60 to $100, depending on what you're going to get over there. Um, but the last few times I've went out over there, they've been like completely empty. They didn't, they didn't have anything. So anyway, it is 11 o'clock. I think the post office is open till 1. I've got two hours. So I'm going to throw some shoes on, head over there, and go get that taken care of. And then I'll come home and I'll tackle what I can clean in the house. And I'll get some videos done. And that's the plan for the day. I will take you guys along with me where you'll see the videos. Um, I was also cleaning out and changing purses over here. So, and I had so many, oh, I had so many, um, so many, what am I trying to say? Lipsticks. It was ridiculous. Let me show you what I did. Okay. So I don't know if I showed you guys this purse, but Ken, oh, I got to take this off. Kenzie gave me this little Kate Spade purse. I have to take this off and get this this off of it before we use it. Um, anyway, so that she gave me that and there's a wallet that came with it. So I'm going to keep that with just my basics. And then I threw a few little things down in here, like my medicine, the mask, like wipes and a few little, um, lipsticks that I, I wear quite frequently. And I think some pens. So, um, that's what, that's what I'm going to take. In fact, it's, it's going to be nice because I can put some of the smaller, um, boxes that I got a mail in here so I don't have to carry them and I'll just have to carry like four big boxes in. So anyway, all right. Um, and today on my eyes, I have Pat McGrath, um, the Divine Rose, Divine Rose 2 is what I've got on there. Hopefully that showed up okay. All right, guys, I got to get busy and running so I can get these mailed to you. And then I got to get back here and I got to clean my house because I cannot stand it right now. So I'll see you guys all a little later. All right, guys, I am leaving the airport. I, uh, airport, I can't even think. The post office. 
and I just sent all 12 of the packages out. 123 bucks to send all those out. So I'm gonna have to think about what I do next year because that's a little too pricey for mail, just to throw away from mailing. I'm not throwing away because you know what I mean, but it's like, I could take that $123 and put it into something else, like make a, you know, do the gift cards or something. So, um, oh look, my shirt came in. I don't know if you guys can see it. It says Southern Yankee, it's got a little paw print on it. Um, this also popped in. Um, I stopped using, because I had all this other skincare waiting, I stopped using that skincare system that I showed you guys and my face broke out. So yesterday night when that popped up, I went back to using that skincare because obviously that cleaned my skin a lot better. All right, I will see you later. There's people walking, it's kind of weird. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, guys, I went to um, TJ Maxx and I did find a mirror, but it was too heavy. I think it was $60, so I may see if Robert can go back tonight and get it with me because I'm gonna need him to lift it up for the upstairs room. But I, I picked up a couple things and I'm kind of in the mood to make the house a little bit more spring-like. Um, I moved all this stuff over here in the corner um, and I sent Robert a message. He better get it cleaned up today, but I wanna show you what I found. All right, first of all, I got this cute little blush pink wrap top. It's gonna need a little tank under it, it was $12.99. Really a great price for that. I also got this really cute, this is gonna go on the rocker. Um, it's just a little love blanket and you can use this honestly year round. So that's gonna go on the rocker where Robert sits. He always gets mad that I put blankets there because it gets in his way. But I picked up some little underwear and just some black socks for work because I needed them. You know, moms, we buy everybody underwear and socks for Christmas, but we don't get any ourselves. Then these two pillows came in a two pack. They were $24 for two. I love them. So they've got this sort of like rough edge. They've got like a really beautiful floral pattern that, you know, like a raised pattern. And they're just the blushest pink. I love it with the black and white check. So I think I'm going to keep the black and white and pink in here for the spring. And then I picked up an extra, this was $7.99. Um, this is just a pretty trash can because I needed one for the bathroom downstairs. I think it was $7.99. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, $7.99. So um, that's going to go in the downstairs bathroom. The pillows were $24.99. I don't remember what that is. The blanket, I think, was $16.99. Of course, that was $12.99. Then I got some goodies down here. So um, we have Ray Dunn, a lot of Ray Dunn stuff at our store, our TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I got a pink Soulmate cup. These were $5.99, I believe. Yeah, $5.99. I don't know if you collect Ray Dunn. I have a few pieces. I have a creamer and a sugar, and I figured for my um, spring or summer, um, coffee bar. I'm going to put that on there. So I got that. And then I got this one. This is also Ray Dunn as well. Also $5.99, but this one has my sign. It just says Sagittarius on it and it has my constellation for Sagittarius on the back. So, um, those are the two, the two mugs that I picked up and I'm getting rid of two mugs that I have. I, I've got to throw, I have a problem. I'm the only one that drinks coffee or tea here unless people visit. So I've got to get rid of two mugs. I already picked one out I'm getting rid of that I don't care about. It was the solid blue one. And I actually have another solid blue one. I'll probably get rid of both of those and these will take its place. All right, then I found this adorable, I think this was $4.99. Yeah, this is a vase, and with how much, it's like an ombre pink. Let me take this in the light so you can see it better, because I can see that the color is kind of like yellowing. But look at how beautiful this is. And you guys know that I really love to bring in flowers, fresh flowers. So I may find some just faux flowers to put in this for the spring until I have fresh flowers for the summer. Um, or if Robert buys me flowers for... Um, Valentine's Day or something, but I just fell in love with it. I almost didn't pick it up, and I was like, no, 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 no. I want that so much. I really, really like it. So I got that, and then this stuff is from Scentsy that came in from our Valentine's collection. This, oh, this. So you just plug this into your outlet. You put um, 
on the top you put the wax in here and it smells up your bathroom and it or your bedroom wherever you want to put it we have this this was the pink one that um the pink glitter one but we also have this and i think rose gold we might have it in silver and gold, but I know we definitely have it in this. This is limited edition just for Valentine's Day, but then we have it in, I know we have it in rose gold as well. They're both gorgeous. It's just, I mean, it's just, oh, it's just glittery goodness and pink. <laughs> so, and girly. Then we had um, a couple new scents launch just for Valentine's Day. Again, I don't know if they're still available. If they are, I'll link them for you. Um, so this one is um petal pals this is more of a um it kind of smells like a magnolia or something it's it's pink and it's more of a floral scent and then we have one that's more fruity berry and this one is called best berry i like this one better this is almost like a watermelon cherry i don't know this one's really really nice if you like floral scents go with this one although if i remember i think these came in a bundle i think you got two of the two together um and so that's a little darker berry color um i think these came together normally they're six dollars each but i think these came for a pack for 11 so you save a buck and then i also got the valentine's day oil three pack which i want to open with you guys i don't know what kind of oils are in here and um i'm gonna these i have a diffuser so i'm gonna actually start these up and put put a scent in but their oils are really really good um Okay, so this is the scent, Love Ya. Love Ya. Then we have, if I can get out of here. Let's see, Hug Me, the scent Hug Me. And we have one more. I'm yours. So what a nice little thing to do on Valentine's Day or just any time. Um, and I think this might tell us what the scents are. Okay, so Jasmine Petals and Violet over Salted Tonka Bean. Uh, which one is that? That is Hug Me. All right. Let me hold on. All right, this one is I'm Yours is intoxicating notes of grapefruit, apricot blossom, and coconut milk, and it'll sweep you off your feet. And Love Ya is charming nashi pear and pink sugar crystals. Sparkle with an irresistible touch of lemon fizz. That's what I'm going to put in. So that one's Love Me. Um, I'm going to smell them all. But anyway, it's, it's so cute and just came in this cute little tin. And I was just so, so excited to get this. So anyway, that is all of my goodies that I picked up. Today, I wanted to show you so I can start putting them away. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. Good morning, guys. Somebody got into the catnip. And she is having a party down there. <laughs> She's rolling all in it. We've got catnip all over you. All over you. Oh my God, it's all over her. <laughs> it's all over her back. And then up here, this one, that blanket he's cuddling with, was on the back of the couch. And somehow he took it down and decided he needed to sleep with a blankie. I mean, it's cute, but that's not what that blankie's for, Nitro. We're doing, kitty. That's a close up. What are we doing? You want more? You want more kitty nap? It's all over your back, so you can't enjoy it. You guys probably can't see this, but I've got germination. There's one little guy right there. This is my mint that I planted with TJ. And it's been about 11 days and we've got some tiny little mint seed growing. Don't mind my face. <laughs> it has, um, just it's so weird when you just have like concealer and everything's blocked out on my skin and there's no color i look really funny but um mint takes a while to germinate and it also once it's established can be invasive so they recommend growing mint in a container um even like outside don't put it in your garden because it could be evasive but it keeps like pests and bad bugs away so 
Um, I am getting ready to go film my Wake Up Makeup Monday look with you guys. It is Monday. Uh, you guys didn't get a Monday look today. Um, you'll get it Tuesday, hopefully. I'll have it done today and edited. Um, I had some things going on this weekend that just didn't allow me to film it. So anyway, guys, I am going to head off because I look like a weirdo and I'll see you guys all in a little bit. I just wanted to show you I was so excited about my mint. I also have mint that I put in a little um, paper towel to see if we get quicker germination, which I'll update you. It's only been one day and nothing yet. So I'll let you know. Guys, I've been up for like an hour and a half and I haven't even looked outside and it's snow. We have snow. My chopper wants to go out. Look how pretty it is. Look how beautiful. This is our first snowfall of the season. Look at the trees. They're so beautiful. Trevor don't know what to do. What is that, buddy? Go to the bathroom. <laughs> Look pretty. So pretty. And there's my, my onions and stuff. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to show you. I wonder if we're going to get more. Okay, so the snow has melted. It is Thursday. And, I mean, there's a little bit of snow outside, but not much. And I'm holding a fork. Um, I posted... Excuse me. I just burped on you. What a piggy. I'm being a total pig. I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, I posted, I think, in our, face, our Facebook group page... This eye look, you guys know, I don't do red eyes. Um, I did though, cause I'm in a group page that's doing like a contest and they, you gotta post an, a red eye look and my lipstick's coming off because I'm eating. I just ordered out, um, I ordered stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut, which is so good. I haven't had it in a long time. And actually that was really good. The last couple of times, I don't know if they changed their sauce. Me and Kenzie ordered it and it was spicy. The sauce was not good. It was definitely not the same sauce, but whatever I just had, good. And then, hmm, wait till you see this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These are their Cinnab Cinnabons. Cinnabons, Cinnabon mini rolls. And then look who's right here trying to look. Ah, stop it. Stop that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna show you guys what's what's left of our snow in a minute. Um, and this is such a dramatic eye look. I'm not sure. It's not an everyday eye look. <laughs> it's not, maybe like a go in. I don't even know where you would wear this eye look. It's, it's a little much for me. Um, anyway, I have some things that came in too. I want to show you. I've got some seeds that came in and a couple of plants that came in from our local nursery called Boulevard Gardens. I tried to take you guys there with me one time in a vlog and they were closed. Well, they do delivery and I didn't know that. And so I got three live plants um, because they're in the dormant stage though. I'll show them to you, and then I'm going to put a picture up on the screen of what they're going to look like when they're in full bloom. And then I got some seeds and some onion starts and some potty mix and a tray. So I'll show you guys all of that in just a minute after I pick out and eat these delicious Cinnabons. Then I'm going on a diet, maybe right after I eat these, maybe tomorrow. I thought I'd give you guys an update. We have a lot more germination on our little mint babies. They're coming up real good now. So let me clean the screen, hold on. That's better. But anyway, here's our little mint babies. I am in a growers group and I asked if they would, if they were gonna be okay. They, look how skinny, it's not focusing, how skinny their little roots are. They're so small, but everybody's assured me that they're slow growers. Once they get going, they're gonna be just fine. Next door, we have the mint. These are just regular mint. The, these ones are spearmint. Um, these are just regular mint. It's day three, no germination on these yet. And I haven't let them dry out. So it's just an experiment. Other people showed how they did it. A lot of them actually wrapped them up in a wet paper towel and put them in a Ziploc bag. I didn't do that. So maybe that's why they're not working. Um, this guy, is getting tall. Um, this one we had the we actually had two blooms. The other blooms under here, it's it's done. And then I got a second bloom out of it. But as you can see, 
the stem, you know, is broken, so I have it propped up. And then I have this, which you guys didn't see this one yet, but this, um, this I have to plant. This is another just plain old amaryllis bulb. So when I get some time, <clears throat> I need to get that planted. All right, I'm going to take it outside and show you what I got from Boulevard Flower Garden. So hang tight. Well, we're not going to be out here long. Anyway, this is what's left of our snow this morning. You can see where the sun hit. It's all gone. And then we have where the shade hits. <laughs> That's what we have left of our snow. Okay, so for the flowers that came in, um, I believe this is... Oh, door's open. I believe this is catmint. It's actually, it's dormant stage is beautiful. I got to do a little research and see, like they came to me with soil wet. I don't know how often these need to be watered um, while they're dormant. This is the Hookera Hybrid Berry Smoothie. And um, this is beautiful leaves and these get some flowers on them in the summer. <clears throat> really nice. Then. This is Gypsophilia. Again, it looks like it's dead, right? But it, you can see it's alive. It's just dormant. Um, and what this is, guys, you can see right here the picture, is like baby's breath. It's, it can be used as a ground cover, but this is baby's breath with pink, which I'm super excited about. So those are my three kind of live plants that I got. Um, and then I'll show you inside the seeds. Before I show you the seeds, look at where the tree was all cleaned up. I finally got Robert to get that stuff upstairs. So it's cleaned up. This actually might go over there. Um, that's underneath the blanket and the pillow is TJ's toys and they're leaving. Um, he'll be taking those with him tomorrow. So up here, ignore my little candle mess here. I'm just ready to go in the trash. Um, this is going to come down as much as I love it. It doesn't match anymore. I did put some pretty pink flowers in here. My candle here from, um, that I had from my, um, goodness gracious, the beach box that I had. Um, this goes in here. These get, these are filled. These bins are filled with like makeup and skincare and stuff. Um, but I'm going to put, I ordered a new January, warmer of the month it comes it'll be live for you guys on february 1st oh it's beautiful it's blush pink and it's going to be beautiful here it's beautiful just plain without anything but it has these inserts i'll put some pictures up on the screen because i think some of you are going to want it it's it's stunning um and so i actually have the box right here because this is going to get packed up um this was a uh, one of the warmers of the month a couple months ago and then i have it on what looks like wood right here is like these little birch wood things I don't know what this is. And that is a cord keeper. So it keeps all your cords in there so you're not having cords hang out. So anyway, that's going to be going down. There's going to be a beautiful blush one in its uh, place. And I think I have the rose gold one. I don't know if I showed you that, so let me show you guys that one. Okay, the light's kind of shiny here. But this is the rose gold one. And, of course, I have the Bless This House that I'll probably just keep out all year um this is oh this is beautiful especially when it lights up at night i wish i could show you how pretty it is but it's just not it's just too bright over here right now um all these little guys um uh tj's gonna be so stinking excited because we just cleaned these up for him robert got a whole bunch of them they were kind of covered in dirt um that he got from a guy that i guess he must have collected them some were broken so we kind of went through and found some that were in good shape for tj he's got the john deere one so when he comes he is going to be so so stinking happy to have these and then of course we kept a couple for um like if robert's son or daughter have a little boy as well because they think they're collectibles so anyway these four are going to my grandson all right i want to show you guys the seeds and stuff that i got um outside those live plants that i showed you guys um underneath what they were sitting in was actually a seed starting tray and a dome um like a humidity dome i forgot to show you guys that so I got, I've not tried this before. This is the Espoma Organic Potting Mix. When you start seeds indoors, you do not want to use like potting soil. You want to use a potting mix or a seed starting soil. Um, this is lighter and compact. What happens a lot of times with that, the other the regular soils that you would use like outside to plant something, they're too heavy and you need a lighter um, mix for seed starting so this one i've heard a lot of things on about um impatient gardener and garden and uh, garden answer they they use this um, i'm sure they probably work with the brand 
Um, I would love to do that, but for me, <laughs> um, I am going to try this for my seeds indoor. And I paid for it. <laughs> um, okay, I've got these little onions. These are little onion starts. And um, I, I don't know what kind they are. Uh, they just look like white onions, which is fine. And some of them have already started to sprout, but basically I'll show you one that sprouted. So basically you just put them in the ground like this with their little points up. If they haven't, okay, here's one that hasn't started. Um, if it hasn't sprouted, you just stick them in the ground like this and plant them. Um, I can actually plant these outside now. Uh, she recommended waiting till like the first week of February, but that's next week. So um, we're gonna figure out where we're putting these. And I got a lot of them. There's some really little itty bitty baby ones in here too. So, I mean, I assume that we're still gonna get, you know, some decent onions from that. So that is a whole bunch of onion starts. You can also start onions from seed. I have some out there that are from seed, started from seed and we got a snow, which just adds to condensation. They can handle the frost. They're still gonna grow. Um, they'll probably be ready in like April or May. Um, I think I tried to pull an onion with you guys. It was growing really good and there was no bulb um, because it did it too early. <laughs> Um, okay, I also purchased some of these plant labels. This is a, a 25 pack. It has a little pencil. I'll probably use a just a, a marker on it, like a permanent marker on that. Um, and I got some seed salad, salad mix. So I got the baby greens smoothie mix right here. So this mix you can mix in your smoothies and you can throw it in your salad. So um, I'm excited to try that. We've got in here bull's blood beet, early wonder beet, lettuce, spinach, and Swiss chard. So it's a little bit of everything. Um, then we got the lettuce um, masculine chef's medley. So, and this is, um, uh, it looks like a, a bunch, it's a medley of lettuces. So you can see all the different types of lettuce that come in there. And lettuce or brassicas are good to grow in the cold. It actually makes them a little sweeter. Um, and these only take like 30 days or so before you can harvest them. Um, so every three, well, well, hold on, let's see. They d Seeds emerge five to 14, de um, five to 14 days. But yeah, 20 to 45 days and they're mature. So these could potentially be mature in 20 days from seed to table. So we're gonna do those indoors. Um, this is also lettuce and it's just uh, gourmet baby greens. You can heavily seed these and have like microgreens if you want um, for your sandwiches and your salads and stuff too, but I think I'm gonna let them get a little bit bigger. And this one is a 28 to 58 day maturity, so that's quite extensive. I guess it depends on its, its growing um, conditions. Then we got spinach, which is you have to have spinach. Popeye eats spinach and he's strong and big. <laughs> so, and I like spinach. Spinach is, I use spinach and you know, we we cooked um, this really awesome spaghetti squash thing with um, cream cheese and regular cheeses and spinach. And oh my God, it was so good last year. I may get some spaghetti spinach uh, seeds and try to do that again so we have those for the summer and fall because that was a delicious dish and it was a keto dish that I had found when I was doing keto until my thyroid went nuts. And it was so good, even my children liked it. Um, so if I get some more spaghetti squash, I will show you guys how to make that dish. Um, so these guys take 28 to 60 days to mature. So could be a month, could be two months, and then you have your, your salad. So this is all so we can have some salad and they have them in a cute little bag. And I have a couple other things that were in here and then some seeds from Johnny's Seeds. So, um, oops. These are um, oregano seeds. Uh, this is a black cherry tomato. I'll put a picture on the screen of that. Cilantro, I think there's mint parsley. The other mint that I planted in there, it might be in there because it's a little packet. Yeah. There, the other like regular mint is in the other room. That's what I have in the bowl. And then of course I planted with TJ the spearmint. So that is some herbs to go with our stuff. And then I got some flowers. Um, I got Madam Butterfly Bronze with white. This is a hybrid Snapdragon. 
Um, these look beautiful and these are from Johnny Seeds and um, these germinate in 7 to 14 days and they need heat so these will do a little bit I mean you can start these inside um, I'm trying to see how long it takes to harvest three to four weeks um, no I don't know I don't know how long it takes to harvest these but um, Oh, 110 to 120 days. So these take a little while, but they're so beautiful. And everybody said like growing snapdragons was so worth it. And I guess they get started kind of slow as well. When they take off, they're supposed to be beautiful. Then I got gumfrina. I didn't think I ordered white gumfrina, but that's what it is. It's white gumfrina, but white goes with everything. And I needed a filler flower for my bouquet. So that, that comes in pinks and purples as well. And then I got, these look beautiful. These are also a Snapdragon, a Potomac Apple Blossom. These look beautiful. Again, I'll put a picture on the screen. And then I got Cherokee Sunset Rudebeckia. And I think these, if I remember correctly, were like a the reds and the yellows and the bronzy colors. So again, I'll put a picture of the flowers. All right, so that is all my goodies that I got recently. Um, I am getting ready. I'm just sort of cleaning up in here a little bit because TJ will be here in about an hour and 15 minutes and they're leaving to go back to Alabama. So they're going to stay the night tonight here. Um, and then she still hasn't seen her brother because her brother, his wife and their two kids have had COVID. So she has not been able to see her brother. She's been here like a month and a half and she has never met her, her niece. So, and I think she's only met her nephew once. So she's gonna see them this weekend. She's staying here tonight till tomorrow. And then they are traveling back home with three dogs and a baby to Alabama. I'm a little bit worried about them with the, all the animals. So hopefully she can she can manage all that. She had a helper coming down and her best friend um, helped her with the animals and stuff. So hopefully she can make it okay and have no issues. But I'm getting this room where TJ likes to play cleaned up and vacuumed and nice. And then I'm gonna go up into the bedroom and change the sheets on the bed and just make that bedroom nice as well and get it going. And then I have dishes to do. So I have a lot to do in the next hour. I'll see you guys later and we'll, um, I'll get, I'll get some more video of TJ too, my little pumpkin butt. I always tell him, are you my pumpkin butt? And he says, no. And then I'll say, is, is Grace in my pumpkin butt? And he'll say, yeah. Or sometimes he says no. And then, and then, then he'll finally tell me he's my pumpkin butt. <laughs> it's so cute. So, cause he's my pumpkin butt. Anyway, um, I will see you guys all a little bit later. I just wanted to check in and hopefully this vlog will be up on Friday. Crossing your fingers. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Friday. It's about 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'm feeling sad. My uh, TJ was here yesterday till today and they just, they just had to leave. Um, I don't think I'm going to see him again before he heads back to Alabama. They've been here a long time since before. Chris, right before Christmas, the week before Christmas, or the week of Christmas. And, um, but I haven't had a ton of time to spend with him. I've seen him about three times. And um, just because she's got a lot of family, extended family, divorced family. Um, so they spent the night yesterday and I had a lot of really good time with TJ. I'm going to put a picture up of me and him that I just took. I haven't, um, he didn't want, he, he wanted me to come with him. He didn't understand, and he, he said, I want TT, I want Grammy TT, and my heart just is, feels broken right now. I just love him. I love him so much. I just wish he didn't live so far away. So, but my son is going to be getting out um, in September from wherever he is, South Korea, he's really missing them and especially his son his son's gotten so big and um they're gonna try to move closer and so less than a year i might have tj quite a bit closer to me where i can see him quite a bit more and that would be wonderful um i haven't done my eye makeup yet because i have um new new natasha denona in fact i'll show it to you guys um but i did use i don't although i'm crying but this mascara is amazing and um caitlin got it it's a maybelline brand new mascara apparently it went viral on tiktok so i just put that on and i'm, I'm gonna still do the um uh, like kind of a first impressions with the natasha denona stuff so that's why i didn't do the rest of my face 
So, um, but I'm gonna show you what came in. Hold on here. <sighs> okay, hold on. All right, so Natasha Denona released this new collection. It is a mini love collection and it's an, I need a nude lip and the colors on here. It's like a really pretty nude with just a tint of pink. That's the color Amorosa. And then the new Love Cheek Duo. It's a cream blush and highlighter. It's stunning. And then this is the new Mini. Um, I believe these all sell for $25, but you can get the whole thing. I got them on a pre-order for $80 for all of it, so it saves a little bit of money. None of these shades are dupes that are in the actual Love palette, the bigger Love palette. So um, it's supposed to be like a companion. And this is also a companion. Wait till you see how gorgeous, how gorgeous this is. So anyway, I'll, I'll open these up and show you guys in my next wake up and makeup. I just wanted to show you real quick. All right, so um, I'm gonna clean up. I've been doing some, some laundry. We have so much laundry to do. And I am going to, I'm having a cup of coffee. I'm just gonna relax for a minute, have a cup of coffee, get my emotions under control. I just miss that little love bug so much. I call him my pumpkin butt. And I'll say, are you my pumpkin butt? Sometimes he says no, sometimes he says yes, but he knows he's my pumpkin butt. So I'm gonna relax a little bit. I um, woke up this morning, did dishes, did two loads of laundry. Um, Robert had gotten these little cast iron, like John Deere tractors and things he had found. We didn't find them. One of the houses he's working on, the guy must've collected them and he got a whole bag of them. Some of them were broken. So we found four really nice ones. We got a big green one, the big John Deere green one. And then we got a couple of like the yellow little like dump truck ones and stuff. They were smaller, Kester, and we got about four of them for TJ and cleaned them up. He was so happy. As soon as he saw them, he went and played with them. But Robert decided to dump rice on my floor so that he could just scoop and dump the rice. He had so much fun with it though. So I just finished cleaning that up. Every time I try to clean it up, he's like, I'm playing with it. I'm playing with it, TT. So cute. So I just cleaned that up, but I'm, actually I see a couple pieces of rice I missed. And um, I need to run to the Target at some point today and get garbage bags. We are out and I need to change both cat litters. Um, we found the culprit of who's been peeing on the towels and it's Gizzy. I don't know what to do about Gizzy. You know, Gizzy's handicapped, so it's not like you can punish her. So, but I caught her in the act today, so now we know it was her. Um, anyway, um, so I've got a lot to do today. I'm probably gonna film some more stuff. Um, it's a Friday and I took the Friday, I took Friday off so that I could spend with them, but I thought they were going to be here all day and she had other plans. So I, um, didn't get but a couple hours this morning with them. So that kind of stinks, but, um, I tried to make the most of all of it. And TJ just gives me the biggest hugs. He gives me such big hugs and he looked sad. I think he knew, I think he was sad too. He loves being here so much. He just has had so much fun with everybody. So anyway, I'm going to end this vlog so I can start a new one and um, get this up today. So you're gonna get two videos today on Friday. Um, I think I put my bloomin' bin one up there and you guys will see this in a couple of hours, but I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I will see you all in the next one. And if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe. For some reason, my views are down, my likes are down, my comments are down, my how long people are watching the videos is everything, every measure for YouTube is down. I'm not sure why. I lost about 10 subscribers. They're all back now. Um, I'm not sure really what's going on with YouTube, so I don't know. It doesn't matter, um, but I appreciate every single one of you that do all those things, as you know. Um, I will see you guys all very soon. Take